Hello everyone, it's Josh Adams with Hagen Homes. We are in the beautiful neighborhood of Highland Forest at Compass Point. Behind me is the Barnhart residence. This is going to be a modified Harbor Town 2 and I'm going to walk you through the home and explain some of the things that uh, Bill and Nancy have done to modify this home uh, to personalize it to their needs. As you can see here, the home is sided. We are in a cul-de-sac here. And I did work with Rick Robbins. Rick Robbins is not only a Haygood homeowner, but Rick is the uh, golf course architect, as well as he heads up the architectural review committee at Compass Point. And he and I worked together to site this home so that it would maximize the views. Upstairs, you'll see what we're talking about. This home has panoramic views of the fairway. It is absolutely gorgeous. Also, you can see that we, of course, are a turnkey builder. Landscaping's in. This house is going to be move-in ready whenever they do move in. Um, you'll note that they have added a, uh, a second door. So you have not only the eight foot by 18 foot wide large garage door, but next to it, because Go Go Compass Point is a golf cart fr friendly community, we do have a six foot wide by eight foot tall door uh, for that as well and all of our garage doors are the, in the compass point series are going to be the 8 by 18 foot they all come with a keypad so that you can um, open and close them from here so you can open the door uh, it comes with two remotes as well and it is bluetooth enabled you'll notice the garage door is quiet it is an insulated garage door, so it's not going to rattle and make noises when you open and close it like some of our competitors' doors. In the garage, you'll also note that we finish out our garage just as you see here in our Compass One series. So you have the epoxy, uh, gray epoxy paint on the floor. You have the base boards, the tall base boards, which you'll see inside as well. We also frame out all of our windows and doors. The uh, only things that they have modified, of course, they've added that third bay. And then they also did add a people door um, to the back of the house so that they can access their side yard. Uh, even their side yard has room for golf course for you to check this out. So you can see here they have great golf views out here. Um, the side, of the, the, the garage side of the home is typically where you'll find all of the infrastructure, utilities, things like that. So you'll note the air condition, the um, the pad for the future generator, the grinder pump, the irrigation, your electrical meters, all of that is gonna be found on the behind the garage side of the home. So the garage is huge. I don't know if you can guy, kind of get an idea of the scale, but there is a ton of room in here for uh, two cars, golf cart, work fit, storage, you name it, you have room for it here. Um, you'll also note that this is where the water heater is located. Our included water heater is a 50 gallon electric water heater um, that you see here. And the house does have a shut off valve so you can turn the water off for the entire house, just like that, so it's super easy to do. All right, and we'll actually make our way inside. Notice the big front porch. So you have a nice front porch. I love this house. So this again is our Harbor Town 2. All the, all the extra wide overhangs that you see, the oversized columns, um, the giant corbels that you see, the detail that you see over the garage door, that capital detail, the band board, the corner boards, the story board, all the trim elements you see on this home are included. The raised slab brick insulated foundation, that is an included feature also. The um, trellis detail that you see over the, the kitchen window here with the wainscot below, that's also included. Notice how wide the overhangs are on the second floor. This house has a West Indies flare, what, which essentially means wide overhangs and lower roof pitches. Um, if you, Hannah, can you get back so you can see the garage, or I'm sorry, the roof detail over the garage. Everything has been meticulously planned and is uh, designed so well. I mean, it's just, the roof lines on this house are absolutely beautiful. Um, this home is a little different, whereas instead of traditionally in Compass Point, you'll find the bonus room over the second floor. 
In this home, the bonus room is actually over the main living area. And we'll see why we did that when we go upstairs. Uh, because this house does have an exciting element. If you've never been in a harbor town, you owe it to yourself to walk through one because it is a really unique plan. Um, I remember when this plan first came out over on hole number 10, it was the first one we ever built. We had people coming into the model and literally going to Compass Point to go put their house for sale because they wanted to buy another home site so they could build this house because they had never walked through anything like this house before. So I'm really excited for you to see it today. Uh, the clients did customize the front porch. They put tile on here. The tile is beautiful. Um, the <coughs> excuse me, the included finish on our front porch is going to be the crushed shell. But of course, if you wanted to change it to tile, that is something you can personalize. Um, note that we have the triple front door. Thermatrue has a lot of natural light with the big side lights. Note again the capital detail, all the trim around it. Note that all the windows do have, uh, on the front, have that capital detail, and every window on the house has both interior and exterior window sills, which is really nice. So come on in. So one thing that I want you to note when you come into this house, if you've ever been in a harbor town before, you know that it usually has a two-story foyer, which is a really unique feature. It's really nice. But note, uh, you know, we do get some people that have concerns with that. One for, you know, space, like having some additional room. And then some people are worried about the noise going up and down, you know, from one floor to the other. Just know that it is a option to close off that second floor story. And uh, you'll see what we've done upstairs. We actually converted it into a really nice office. So again, one of the hallmarks of Hagen Homes is our ability to personalize. You know, we're, we're going to have that advisory ship role with you where we can, you know, you can uh, tell us what you're looking for and we can help find a solution for you. Um, one thing that people love about this home is this area right here. If you've been in the harbor side, the harbor side has the exact same great room as the harbor town. They're literally the exact same layout. Uh, in the in the great room that is large uh, great room one thing to note uh, one one uh, kind of way that you can tell how this is a bit bigger than most is the distance between the fireplace and the uh, electrical floor outlets typically it's about 12 feet from the fireplace to the floor outlets the reason why that's relevant is that's where your couch goes your sofa goes um, my man was in furniture and they killed me when I say a couch and sofa not couch uh, but the distance is uh, 15 feet from the sofa to the fireplace in this home, whereas most are 12. So you do have three additional feet in that great room area than most of our plans. People also love how open this room is. They love the big built-ins on either side. The, all the trim detail that you see here, the beams with all of the trim to the ground, that is included in this plan. It is a feature of this plan. What Troy has done is, and Troy is the designer, if you haven't, you should read about her online because she's been phenomenal at what she does. But she has delineated the spaces by ceiling details. So you have this, this lower uh, copper effect here, whereas in the eating area, the kitchen area, you have this hip roof detail with some beams going into it. That, and even in the open floor plan, that does help delineate those two spaces. Um, some things about the kitchen that people love about this house is one, you don't see it when you walk in. You know, the kitchen, you know, a lot of the homes, people don't like when you walk in, the first thing you see is the kitchen. Uh, whereas this one, it is kind of tucked away. It's still a very open floor plan. You can definitely converse with everyone in this house, but the kitchen is tucked away to the side a little bit. It's on the outside wall. That's another key feature of this house. The reason why that is important is the sink is not on the island. The sink is on the outside wall, and the sink does have uh, windows above, which is definitely a feature that people are looking for. Again, just note the island. Look at the size of this island. This island is four feet, four feet deep. It is nine and a half feet long. And I know that every party that I go to, the island is kind of like the con the focal point of the party. You know, that's where the food is, that's where the drinks are, that's where people are having conversations. So it is nice not to have that uh, sink detail in the island. This is a complete, very large slab, perfect for serving. 
I am a model of sketching. I want the sketching so bad. Uh, you'll know the Sub Zero fridge. Uh, I had one of these when I was a kid. They're really hard to open, but they are amazing refrigerators. Um, so this is a wonderful fridge here. Um, so again, you know, one of the things that it is a hallmark of Hagen again is that ability to personalize, and not just personalize the plans, but personalize your selections. You know, you're going to meet with Dustin and design your kitchen. I'm going to show you some elements of this kitchen that they've done, which are really, really cool. You're going to meet with Wayne and Atlantic Appliance and talk about Frigidaire, Wolf, Sub-Zero, Viking, Thermador, whatever brand that you want. You're going to meet with Ron. I just met with Ron this morning, the electrician, and talk about the placement of your lights and light switches and dimmer switches and all those things. You're going to meet with so many different people. You're going to be able to personalize the lighting package exactly the way that you want. We tailor everything for you so that you're not getting some, you know, production style house. You're getting everything exactly the way that you want it. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why people choose Hagen Homes. Again, um, just on the kitchen, people love having storage. That is something that we've uh, seen that people really are looking for. Note how the, the, the pantry shelves, one, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Hannah did not touch any light switches. It actually turned on by itself as a motion activated light. So when your hands are full of groceries, you don't have to worry about trying to turn the light on. Also note the shelving. It's not wire shelving, it's not vented wood. That is custom built shelving that your food's not gonna fall through, your food's gonna set flat on, and it's gonna hold all that weight for your canned goods, your appliances, whatever you know may be in there. Also, there's a window in the pantry. How many times do you guys see that? I mean, that's just really, really cool. Again, just that little extra touch. I mean, the difference is all in the details, you know, and that's people that can appreciate the finer details are the customers for Hagen Homes. You know, it's the taller doors. I don't know if you've noticed the eight foot doors, the taller ceilings, the 10 foot ceilings instead of nine foot ceilings, the taller windows that have all that natural light. Look at all the natural light today, it's January. And look at how bright this house is. Imagine what this house is like in the summertime. Uh, the taller windows. Again, all the appliances, so neat features. You'll notice that we have this custom range this is a, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this is a 48 inch range. This is a commercial grade chef's stove. This is not, you know, some dency thing. This is huge. This thing is massive. This range was custom built, this range hood was custom built for this stove. Again, this is all those details. This is a Wolf stove, has really nice features. I don't know if you can see the clock comes out that way. It's just, it's beautiful on the inside. It is just, it's all about the details. It's got this nice griddle area right here. Um, so, you know, if you love cooking, this is the kitchen for you. The microwave, rather than being above the stove, or, you know, we do a lot of double microwave oven combinations. If you don't like that, there is an option to do the microwave in the island, just like you see here. So just know that there's different configurations. And we can do whatever you want. We can put the microwave above the stove. We can put it in a double wall oven. We can do it here. I've seen the microwave also in the pantry. There's all different ways to do things. So I don't know if you've seen the dishwasher because you can't really see it because it actually has a panel on it. So this is the dishwasher. It's panel ready. Um, if you walk through my Harbortown model several years ago, it also had this Bosch dishwasher with the panel as well. The trash pullout is located here. So you have your recycling and trash, of course. And then you'll note that we've made use of every bit of space. You've got your Lazy Susan um, here. So there's no wasted space in this home. Ample storage. There's tons of drawers. I don't know if you notice. There's several. There are many banks. There's one here, two over there, and two in the island as well. Check out this here. This is, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't want to have cluttered uh, countertops. So here we have all of our utensils. This, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually a knife block. So you, you stick your knives down in there. Um, and those are, of course, for your utensils. And then over here, we have our spice rack. Note the detail on the backsplash there. Isn't that neat? Um, that was a custom feature that this homeowner wanted. Uh, this is the spice rack area here. So all of your spices are nice and organized. Obviously, the modern arts like to cook, so the kitchen was very, very important to them. Um, she's a baker, so that's why she, she loved the idea of having this nice big island here. And one of the other cool features of this home is 
this here. So if you ever have had a KitchenAid mixer, it's big, it's heavy, it's hard to handle. This is your solution. Your KitchenAid a mixer goes right here, pops right up, you can use it, you have all this work area. This is a baker's dream for sure. And then another really cool different feature on this house is the appliance garage. So it actually has a garage door that lifts right up um, here and you'll have a, you know, a little uh, area for your appliances. They also have a beverage fridge. This beverage center is going to have a panel over it. Um, it has not come in yet. So there will be a panel that goes over the beverage center. So that'll be another, another item. And they also, uh, just note that the kitchen usually stops here, but they have extended it out a little bit farther and they've moved those windows down a little bit. Again, people can personalize, so you'll know there are gonna be some different you know, features in everyone's home. We talked about the floor outlets, we talked about the fireplace. We do an oversized fireplace, it's a 42 instead of 36, it is a gas fireplace. And you do pick out the tiles around, and of course the built-ins on either side are included. The barn marks have opted to do a four season room. Um, so I, I, I have other, you have options. Uh, the house comes with a screen porch. You can do a middle area, which is a three season or an easy breeze, which is going to be a non HVAC controlled vinyl room. Or you can go with this, which is going to be um, completely climate controlled. It's going to have the same flooring as the rest of the house. It's going to be trimmed out with baseboards, you know, electrical outlets, just like the rest of the house. One thing I did not mention is the hardwood floors are actually not hardwood. These are porcelain tile floors that look like hardwood. So these are completely waterproof. Um, you know, they're, they're scratch resistant. This is all tile. So they tiled the entire great room the hallways and the four season room and they've got a really cool design upstairs so make sure you stay on the video to see the upstairs because they've got a really neat feature up there so of course in the four season room it's nice and sunny the windows do open um, they slide open just like that they are screened um, so on nice days you can open the windows and get some of that fresh air on wet days that it's cold or it's hot you do have the HVAC vents here and it is on a separate zone. Whenever Hega, Hega does a four season room we upgrade the entire home's HVAC system for the train XB series over the XR series. The XB series is going to be a variable speed the condenser or the, the, the piece of equipment that you see there is going to be variable speed, the condenser. And then the handler that's inside the house is going to be variable speed also. And the best analogy that I have for that is almost like, you know, when you get, if you have a newer car, like my Yukon, for example, if it's 90 degrees outside and I turn my Yukon on 65 degrees, it's going to blow really cold air out really, really hard until it gets the cabin down to that 65. But then when it gets 65, it's not just going to shut it off. It's going to maintain that temperature and it's going to adjust the throttle as necessary, dependent on the demand. And that's what that variable speed train XV series is going to do as well. It's going to make sure that it's a consistent temperature in the house at all times. Um, and it's also going to be an 18 sear unit, so it's a very energy efficient unit. People that have that, it's like the Rolls Royce of HVAC. People love it. They're super silent and it's always comfortable in the house. I do want to take you outside and show you the patio area as well as this beautiful golf view that they have. You will note that we do brick steps on the front porch, back porch, and in the garage. This is a beautiful uh, pathway that they have made out of concrete and they have done a brick, uh, pad or brick uh, perimeter around it that matches the foundation which looks really really nice so it kind of ties it all in together again we do a landscape package you will work with the landscape architect whenever you're building the home and they will come up with a landscape design that suits you and the budget and the surrounding areas that you're in um, you can see here that we have the wetland area we have two golf holes you have one um, to your right and one to your left They do have a gas line over here um, on the patio for the grill so that they don't have to worry about, they have like a little area to set the grill and then they have a gas line for that grill um, so you don't have to worry about the propane tanks, you know, going in and out and whatnot. Here is the, the, uh, the beauty of this home. 
Just look at how well integrated that upper balcony is. It doesn't look like a afterthought. This house was designed to have a balcony. Um, it doesn't look like some random appendage coming off the house like you see sometimes. Um, it is a very cohesive design. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I would see, you know, imagine having your morning coffee up there or watching the sunsets with a glass of wine. Um, that's what people do with these upper balconies. I mean, it's just a wonderful place uh, to entertain and hang out. Um, so, and I like it because you have the best of both worlds on this house. If you convert the downstairs to a four season room, you still have that outdoor living area as well. So you get both. And a lot of folks um, don't like the idea of having a TV above a fireplace. So having a four season room is a really great area if you don't want to have a TV in the great room. You can see behind you right there on the wall, we've actually, uh, we've pre-wired to have a TV on the wall here. So if you did not want to have a, fire, a TV in the fire, over the fireplace, in your four season room is a perfect place to do it. And people that have four season rooms say that they spend almost all their time here. You know, and then with a view like this, why would you not? You have this room flooding with light, with amazing views, and it's uh, climate controlled, so it's comfortable too. Uh, it, is on, it is on its own separate zone. So that is uh, that here. This is the zones you'll notice this throughout the house. Um, those are sensors that control the electronically controlled dampering systems on the HVAC equipment so that it knows where to send the heat or the air. Um, have another view of this. So you have the wainscot in the dining area, the wainscot in the foyer area, this beautiful kitchen, and then the great room area. I love, again, that, that front door is just such a statement. You know, it lets so much natural light in. It's a very big door. I don't know if you can see the scale on the, on the video, but it's, it's, it's sizable. It's, it's, really, it's rather large. One of the things that we do also is no waste of space in our homes. So here is under the stairs. Uh, this area is the uh, under the stairs. This is where all of your cable systems are going to come in and out. So all of your Cat 6. So we do use Cat 6. I did learn that recently. It is not Cat 5. It is Cat 6, which apparently is better than Cat 5. Um, I do not know the difference, to be honest with you, but people tell me that it's better. And we do use it, so that's good. And we have the coaxial as well. So you get eight data connections. They're eight dual port connections. So you get eight that have eight, eight data centers that have the coaxial and the cat. So, and you choose the locations during your selections. But again, you get nice uh, ample storage down here, maximizing the space under the stairs. Again, notice the height of the doors. I'm not that tall, but this door is really tall. Um, so it is a really, really tall door. We do solid core doors. So you'll notice this is a, it's a very heavy door um, in all of our bedrooms. They're solid core. And you get to choose between oil rub bronze or brush nickel hardware. Our windows are Applied Gem 1500 series. They are triple pane. Um, so in 2021, we did make a change over in our Compass Point series to go to triple pane windows. The reason why we went triple pane windows is because um, of the, the, just the sheer volume of windows within our houses. Um, because of that, it was impacting our energy efficiency, our scores and uh, our energy consultant said that we needed to remove windows in the house, which was not gonna happen. Um, so we actually upgraded the windows themselves and are, have now a triple pane window. Um, so you still get the natural light and you get the energy efficiency, you get, so you get the best of both worlds. Note the trim detail in this room, you have the nice crown molding. I love that bay window detail. Uh, that is the included window that comes in the, the primary uh, bedroom of the Harbor Town. <coughs> Um, they have option to put carpet in their bedroom, but they could have easily personalized it to do hardwood, which is what we do often. And then you have the oversized baseboard going throughout the entire house also. This bathroom is my favorite bathroom. It has a huge vanity. The vanity is 12 foot. Uh, so you have a ton of counter space. Uh, they have uh, they've personalized it. They've added these like wonderful storage towers. So you have an electrical outlet in there, and then you have all these drawers. Keep everything nice and tidy because I know I need that help in mind. They have personalized the, wind, the mirrors also. 
Check out these mirrors, they are backlit and they actually have a defrost option. So if you click right here, when you're taking a shower, they're not gonna fog up, which I think is just so cool. Um, note the Moen eight inch spread fixtures. Um, they are eight inch spread. Haygood now does quartz throughout the entire house. So this is the quartz countertops you see here. And then this home, this home does have a nice drop vanity area in between the two, um, the two vanities. So you have like the, the his and hers, and then you have the drop in the middle, which is really, really nice. Again, note all the natural light. Uh, you have a ton of uh, windows in here. You have windows in the shower. They have, I think this is so cool. I would love to have one of these in my bathroom. It's a fan in the bathroom. It makes a difference. It's really, really neat to have that. Um, so I think that's really, really cool. When you walk into the shower, notice how the shower has zero entry. There is no curb. There is also no door. We bring up our shower walls to five foot six uh, for privacy. And also, if you ever had a full glass shower, they're super hard to keep clean. This is so much easier to clean. Uh, but you still get that effect. It's more modern. It still lets all that natural light in. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. One thing that you'll note as well is the diverter is as soon as you walk in. So you can control the temperature without getting wet. You know, you can turn the water on, let it warm up before you actually get into the shower. You have that zero entry Roman, Roman entry here. Big windows, ton of natural light, but the windows are up high, so you still get the privacy. Um, the rain head, wall mounted daisy rain head is included. And then they have added this um, handheld also. They've also added a bench, and they've added an additional uh, niche for shampoo for storage. So uh, those are some personalizations that they have made to the shower. But it's a huge shower. I mean, look at how big the shower is. I mean, it is absolutely massive. Um, you know, you could wash a big dog in here for sure. Or a golf cart, it's, it's pretty big. Um, the water closet is right around the way, so that is, um, you know, we typically have a separate room for the for the toilet itself, and then it does have a window, which people really seem to like. This is a weird uh, quirk of mine, but just note when you go in there, look at how the plumbing lines are trimmed out in the water closet. Again, it's just that attention to detail. You know, not, nothing is overlooked with the house. It's just it's done very, very, very well. So features that people like about this plan is you walk right from the primary bath into the primary closet, which ties right into the laundry room, which most of your laundry is going to be generated right here. So it's super easy to go in between the closet and the laundry room. This is an example of another thing you can personalize at the selections process. This is called a California closet. Um, what I love about the California closets is it really maximizes your storage in the closet and it, it uh, removes the reason to have bulky furniture in the bedroom. Um, so you have all your storage right here. These are super nice. You have a ton of drawers, soft clothes. I mean, they're really, really nice. You have all these shelves that you can put thing, hold things up. Look at all the hanging space in here. It really maximizes what you can do with this space. And it's all completely customizable. You'll have an appointment during your selections uh, process where you actually sit down and you talk with the closet designer and you design it exactly the way that you want it. And like I said, it ties right into the laundry. So they have added this, this, um, this base cabinet and sink here. Uh, that's another personalization that you can do whenever, whenever you're having us price out the house for you. And then of course they've got their washer and dryer in already. Um, I know that they're really excited to move in as soon as possible. This pocket door is included, so you'll note that there is an eight foot tall pocket door that kind of cuts off the laundry room from the rest of the house. And just so you kind of can see, we left the closet, went into the laundry, and now we're back into the hallway that loops around back to the kitchen. So this house has like a very nice flow to it. You can access it the, either way, through the primary bedroom or through the laundry, which I think is a really cool feature. While we're downstairs, we'll, set, we'll see the guest wing of the house, if you will. Um, this is typically a E space, but this is the Costco room, which would be really useful in my house. Um, so this is like an overflow. So you saw the huge pantry earlier. This is another pantry in addition to that one. So in case you need overflow, um, we can convert your E space to another pantry or a Costco room. 
Uh, again, got a window in it, the custom built cap or shelving that we do, um, and then there's a ton of storage. It's, it's really big, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's a really, really big room with a ton of storage. The barn door that you saw coming in, you can see it probably better from the other side, but uh, it is included as well. And that's a really nice feature. So you can see here, there's the barn door. People love those. Uh, the drop zone area that you see here, this is an included feature of Hagen Home. So you have these beautiful hooks, little uh, bench with some storage below. And again, the windows, all the natural light. There's windows. We put windows anywhere that we put a window. So yeah, um, there could not be any more windows in this house. Um, it's, uh, I think we ran out of space. We saw the garage earlier, but just a reminder, this is how you get to the garage. So the drop zone is right off the garage, which is really handy. Um, and it is, uh, you can see kind of the dimensions of the garage from here. It is really, really large. And then I like that you have this guest suite here. It's a really nice size guest suite. Uh, and it does have its own bath. So it's got an ensuite bath, which is a feature a lot of people are looking for. Uh, in their guest suites, so they have nice private. It's tucked away from the rest of the house, so it's almost like I said earlier. It's almost like a guest wing. You know, they have their little private oasis over here. But if I was a guest, I would want to be upstairs, and you'll see why in a second. It has a nice size vanity. We use the same quality of cabinetry throughout the entire house, so all of our cabinetry is going to be dovetail, full extension, soft close, soft close doors. Uh, this is Culture Marble, but we're now doing quartz throughout the entire house. And they have changed out their mode, and they have a little different mode in there. The tub with tile surround is included. Um, that's an included feature with Hey Good. And then again, note the win the window there. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the toilets are a comfort height toilets, so they're a little bit taller than like I call them the elementary school toilets, the ones that are really low to the ground. And uh, again, with the closets, you'll meet with the closet designer, but we have vented wood throughout the entire house. There is no wire shelving in this house. And let's go upstairs. As you go up the stairs, note how wide the stairs are. They're four foot wide, which is gonna make it easy to get the furniture in and out. Look to the left. Notice how the handrail is affixed to the wall. They have that nice piece of trim there. That's so that whenever you're holding onto the handrail, you're not scuffing the drywall as you walk up and down the steps. So this is the upstairs lounge. As you can see, they didn't want to walk up and down the steps, uh, as I would not either. So when they're up here entertaining, they don't need to leave. They have their own wet bar up here. They put in this beautiful Blanco granite sink. They have this faucet, so they have water, they have plumbing here, they have drainage. This, this Blanco sinks are really popular if you're looking for something other than stainless steel. But don't want to spend the money on the porcelain sink like they did downstairs. I don't know if you guys noticed the porcelain farmhouse sink is beautiful. But up here, they often do a granite Blanco sink, which is a great option. We have the Sub Zero beverage center here with the wood grain. This is going to be a great place to store wine. It does have, you know, a freezer down below. And look at how it's look at how it's integrated. I mean, this is all completely personalized. You know, that Sub-Zero has the facing of the cabinet. So what we did is we actually worked with Sub-Zero and the cabinet manufacturer to get this custom paneling on here to give it that really custom look. This is the moment you've been waiting for. This is the upstairs lounge of the Harbor Town Zoo. It is the same upstairs lounge that you would have in the Harbor Town 3 as well. But as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, I worked with Rick Robbins to site this home to maximize the views. And here you can see why. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the view down the fairway there. I mean, I can just see them now. I can see them up here having their glass of wine, or like I said earlier, having their morning coffee, or when they have friends over. This is just going to be a wonderful place for them to entertain. Note the truck's decking on the, on the, on the floor. That's included. 
the handrails that you see here, that is the included handrails. The ceiling detail that you see here also is included. This is a James Hardy siding uh, product on the ceiling. So it's going to hold up really well to the elements. They have personalized the area out here by adding these four uh, recessed lights or high hats, cam lights, whatever you want to call them. Um, they, they did add those in, but the fan is included. Uh, but yeah, again, just look at all, look at the view. I mean, like that is just absolutely gorgeous. It is pre-wired up here for a television as well. So if you are are not mesmerized enough by the view, you can watch TV uh, while you're up here uh, if you so choose to. Check it, as we go back into the house, check out the floor in detail. The herringbone pattern on that porcelain tile that I was telling you about earlier is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just those little details that make all the difference. They've also added in this cabinetry area here, and they'll have a TV above that as well. So it's a great place for storage. This is what I was telling you about earlier, whenever, you know, if you've been in a harbor town before, typically there's railing here, and there's an overlook to the foyer below. Whereas they wanted an office up here, so you do have this nice office space um, instead of the foyer. So, you know, uh, there are some costs associated with this because we do have to engineer a floor system uh, to be able to span that length. But it is an option, it is possible. They opted for the single light uh, French doors here, which are the main Dramatic. Uh, note the ceiling detail in this room. It has a pyramid ceiling detail with uh, some beams on it, and then we have the ceiling fan. Again, we have these nice tall windows. Uh, that don't impact the placement of the furniture, which I really like, but it still lets all that actual light in. And then you do have uh, two storage areas flanking the office area or the foyer. This one here is more of your uh, you know, mechanical room, your HVAC equipment's in there, uh, we have our paint supply in there. Here you can see, I haven't mentioned this in this video yet, but you can see the spray foam insulation. That's another difference of Hagen Holmes. This house is completely encapsulated with spray foam insulation. If you're not familiar with spray foam, definitely you owe it to yourself to Google open cell spray foam. This house is like a giant Yeti cooler, essentially. Um, I, we have it in our model. The model, I'll leave every light in the house on. The electric bill in the model is $9 a month, which is phenomenal. My power book, my house, is anywhere from four to $550 a month. So just to kind of give you an idea of the, the difference and the energy efficiency of this house. Then you have another storage area here. They have an option to finish theirs off. Usually it's not quite this polished. Um, it, it looks more like the mechanical room we saw earlier, but they opted to put the baseboard in there, trim it out, put the drywall, get it painted. So it looks really, really nice. There is another closet here. So there is, this house is a three bedroom. Um, we're getting ready to see the other bedroom up in a second. This house is three bedrooms and three and a half baths. So this is the guest bath upstairs. Um, I really like it. Again, a lot of natural light. The shower is included. So we have this nice shower with the semi-frameless enclosure. Has a window, so we've got lots of natural light. This is a really, really nice upstairs bath. Large vanity. And then there is a linen closet in there as well. Um, so you can see there, again, there's a lot of storage in this house. Uh, you have the little linen area there. And then around the corner is going to be your third guest suite, or your, your second guest suite, third bedroom. Um, so you have the primary and two guest suites total. Has amazing views. Like I said, if I was a guest, I would want to be in this guest room because I would want to have access to that balcony and whatnot. Because uh, it is really, really nice. This home without the four season room is uh, 2,711 square feet, but it feels like over 3,000. Um, and with the four season room, it's, a, it's right at uh, 3,000 square feet. Just to kind of give you an know, idea of the size. Again, look at that. This is, that is beautiful. The slider's open. You can see the, the beautiful sunlight is hitting that pot. I mean, it's just, I can see myself living here. It's nice.
I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you have not, if you have a chance, we do have a Harbor Town model down in St. James uh, for the time being. So we do have this as an active finished furnished model. So you can see it with furniture to kind of get an idea of the scale of everything. And then we also do have a Harbor Side model that's active in Compass Point. I'm here and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. You guys have a great day.